In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O my Jesus, you have said, truly I say to you, ask and you will receive, seek and you will find, knock and it will be opened to you. Behold, I knock, I seek, and I now ask of you, Lord, for this great grace. The grace to strive always for true love of God. This requires great strength and therefore we will ask for the grace to grow in fortitude. Jesus did not leave us under any illusions he told us plainly that we would have crosses. In fact, he said we would have to take it up every day and follow him. That we would have trials and face many obstacles and difficulties. Nevertheless, he said, be brave because I have conquered the world. So we need to be strong in fortitude, exercising fortitude, so that we don't give up just because of the trials. We have to grow in love, no matter what, love of God and love of neighbor. And in this month, we are called to enter, not just focus on the Sacred Heart, but to actually enter into it. Because here we have the source of everything that we need, including fortitude. Listen to what Jesus himself said to St. Margaret Mary. And he spoke about publishing this devotion to the Sacred Heart. He said, it uh, recommended to all as the most efficacious means to arrive at the perfection of their state. To those who work for the salvation of their neighbor, it is an assured means to touch even the most hardened hearts. And finally, to all the faithful, as a most solid devotion and one most proper to obtain victory over the strongest passions, to establish union and peace and to obtain, uh, uh, to establish union and peace, even in the most divided families. Finally, to obtain victory over the strongest passions. This devotion will establish union and peace because it will get rid of the most long-standing imperfections. Through it, you will obtain a most ardent and tender love of me. So this is why we now ask for fortitude. Sometimes the hardest battle that we have to fight and endure is the battle against ourselves constantly trying to improve, to grow in perfection, to get rid of the imperfections one at a time. There will always be many. As Jesus has said, Jesus said, get rid of the most long-standing imperfections to obtain a most ardent and tender love. This is our primary aim in this month of the Sacred Heart. 
which tune is our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. O sacred heart of Jesus, I place all my trust in you. O my Jesus, you have said, truly I say to you, if you ask anything of the Father in my name, he will give it to you. Behold, in your name, I now ask for the grace of Justice. What is justice? To define it, it is to give to the other person what is their due. Now we know our God, the true God of heaven and earth, creator of each of us, creator of the heavens, creator of all that is visible and invisible, is a person. In fact, three persons. So we need to give each of these persons their due. Now the question is, what is due to the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit from us. We had it yesterday in the readings for Corpus Christi. We celebrated the feast of the body and blood of Christ. And in the first reading, Moses put before the people the commandments, the law, the teachings of God. This is what we owe God. Obedience to his commandments. Obedience to all the teachings of Christ. Which are the Ten Commandments. But explained in greater detail. That's what Jesus did in his life. He didn't come to ab abolish the law, but to bring it to perfection. What he did was to bring it to perfection. The, the radical newness that he gives. So what we owe is the offering of our complete selves to God as an, an act of love, an offering pleasing and acceptable to him in obedience to his commandments without obedience to his teachings without a life founded and built on the ten commandments on obedience we have nothing to offer the spiritual life crumbles it's a sham what makes it true, what makes it real, what makes it pleasing and acceptable is obedience to his holy will based on the Ten Commandments. So we pray for this great grace to be inspired to live justice, which begins with giving God his due and when we do that, we show it by showing justice towards neighbor, giving every other person what is their due. And primary 
that we owe to others is a good example of living a holy life. True witness to Christ, true witness to holiness. Eighth commandment, do not bear false witness. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O sacred heart of Jesus, I place all my trust in you. O my Jesus, you have said, truly I say to you, heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words will never pass away. Encouraged by your infallible words, I now ask for the great grace to be inspired evermore to love the Eucharist to spend time in Eucharistic adoration where we can really enter into the Sacred Heart, where we can console the Sacred Heart by offering reparation, everything that we can do uh, to offer and make an act of faith, hope and love. St. Margaret Mary has in her writings, uh, when we have the Eucharist, we can enrich ourselves with all of these graces that are found in the Sacred Heart. And listen to what Cardinal Peter Damien used to say. It is in this adorable heart that we find all the weapons necessary for our defense, all the remedies proper for the cure of all our evils, all the most powerful aids against the assaults of our enemies, all the sweetest consolations to solace our sufferings, all the purest delights to fill our souls with joy. So, are you afflicted? Do your enemies persecute you? Does rem remembrance of your past sins trouble you? Do you feel your heart agitated by uneasiness, fear or passion? Well then, Go and prostrate yourself at the foot of the altar. Throw yourself into the loving arms of Jesus. Enter into his sacred heart. Remember, it is a sanctuary, a retreat for holy souls, a place of refuge where our souls are in perfect safety. That's Cardinal Peter Damien speaking the truth of God for our benefit. So we pray that we have the grace, inspiration to do this, love adoration, and give what is our, our due. A holy hour every day is what the Lord asked. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O sacred heart of Jesus, I place all my trust in thee. O my Jesus, for whom it is impossible not to have compassion on the afflicted, have pity on us, miserable sinners, and grant us the favours which we ask of you through the sorrowful and immaculate heart of Mary, your tender mother and ours. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, hail our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry for banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. From the no most gracious advocate, the eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Saint Joseph, foster father of the child Jesus, pray for us. Act of consecration now to the Sacred Heart. And again, you say your name. I, John, give and consecrate to the Sacred Heart of our Lord Jesus Christ my person, my life, my actions, my penances and sufferings, that my whole being may be devoted to him. I desire to be entirely his and to do everything for his love, renouncing with my whole heart anything that would displease him. I then take you, O Sacred Heart, as the sole object of my love the protector of my life, the pledge of my salvation, the remedy of my weakness and inconstancy, the atonement for all the faults of my life, and the secure refuge at the hour of my death. Be then, O heart of goodness, my justification before God the Father, and remove far away from me all the punishment of his just wrath. O heart of love, I place my confidence in you. While I fear all things from my malice and frailty, I hope for all things from your mercy and generosity. Consume then in me whatever can displease or be opposed to you, and may your pure love be so deeply impressed upon my heart that it may be impossible that I should ever be separated from you or forget you. Amen. And we finish now with our litany. Lord have mercy on us. Christ have mercy on us. Lord have mercy on us. Christ hear us. Christ graciously hear us. God the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, Son of the Eternal Father, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, formed by the Holy Spirit in the womb of the Virgin Mary, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, substantially united to the Word of God, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, of infinite majesty, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, holy temple of God, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, tabernacle of the Most High, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, house of God and gate of heaven, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, burning furnace of charity, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, abode of justice and love, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, full of goodness and love, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, abyss of all virtues, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, most worthy of all praise, have mercy on us. King and center of all hearts, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, in whom are all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, in whom dwells all the fullness of the divinity, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, in whom the Father was well pleased, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, of whose fullness we have all received, 
have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, desire of the everlasting hills, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, patient and abounding in mercy, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, enriching all who invoke you, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, fountain of life and holiness, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, overwhelmed with insults, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, propitiation for our sins, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, bruised for our offences, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, obedient unto death, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, pierced with a lance, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, source of all consolation, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, our life and resurrection, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, our peace and reconciliation, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, victim of sinners, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, salvation of those who trust in you, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, hope of those who die in you, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, delight of all the saints, have mercy on us. And of God, who takes away the sins of the world, spare us, O Lord. And of God, who takes away the sins of the world, graciously hear us, O Lord. And of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Jesus, meek and humble of heart, make our hearts like unto thine. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, look upon the heart of your dearly beloved Son and on the praise and satisfaction that he offers you in the name of sinners. And for those who seek your mercy, be appeased and grant us pardon in the name of the same Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You are never alone. 
We are always there to pray for you.